What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Rays. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the Riverdale cast before and after they were famous. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. KJ Apa Leading actor on the crime series Riverdale, KJ Apa has already charmed millions of millennials by his jaw-dropping acting skills and chiseled abs. In the year 1997, Apa was born to Kennedy, his father, and Tessa, his mother, in Auckland, New Zealand. KJ started his acting career in 2013 with virtually no kind of experience. It was a question how he could manage to perform the dark role of suicidal teen Kane Jenkins in New Zealand's longest-running primetime soap opera, Shortland Street. Guys, we'd like to admit here that Appa never wanted to be an actor. He had his eye on music before his acting career took off. In fact, during the final moments of casting for Riverdale, Appa tried his musical sense and bingo, he succeeded to win the leading role as Archie Andrews. There's no doubt Riverdale has been a very successful series and it helped Appa earn wealth and a huge fan base at the same time. Riverdale was like the first stepping stone towards riches for KJ. He was soon offered a romantic comedy movie, The Last Summer, directed by William Bingley, which was published by Netflix on May 3, 2019. If you're a diehard Appa fan, we would like to share that Appa is going to appear in a Christian biographical drama film, I Still Believe, in 2020. Lily Reinhardt The charming actress Lily Reinhardt is famous for her role as Betty Cooper on the popular television series Riverdale. She was born on September 13, 1996 in Cleveland, Ohio. From childhood, Lily was attracted to the TV screen. At the age of 10, she found her love singing and acting. Her passion towards acting was lit up when she was in Ohio. The passion grew into a burning desire and her mother finally had to take her to New York for auditions. In her early acting career, Reinhardt played a role in a show Lost Traveler as Courtney Lane, who tortured and murdered a younger student at her school. Before being Betty Cooper, she acted in many movies, including For Today, The Most Girl Part of You, King of Summer, The First Hope, and Gibsonburg. In 2011, she made her television debut with the series Law and Order, in which she played the role of a 14-year-old sociopath. Lily is about to appear in her upcoming movie Chemical Hearts with co-star Austin Abrams. Camila Mendez Camila Mendez was the second child and daughter to Brazilian parents Victor, who is a business executive, and Giselle, a flight attendant. She was born in Virginia. Mendez was about eight when her parents got divorced. The situation was worse, but her mother took care of Camila and her elder sister. At some time, they settled down in South Florida. Mendez initiated her acting skills by doing a commercial for European multinational company IKEA. She also gave some shots in her friends' music videos, Give a Little, and Side Effects. Riverdale was one more big challenge for her. She had little acting experience, and in the meantime, her eating disorder made things worse than ever. However, she successfully managed it with the help of her therapist and nutritionist, as well as a regular exercise schedule. After receiving huge fandom from Riverdale fans, Mendez is ready to act in her upcoming movies, Palm Spring and Windfall. Palm Spring is an American rom-com film which will premiere in 2020 at the Sundance Film Festival. The story revolves around the maid of honor and a wedding guest. Cole Sprouse In the year 1992, Cole Sprouse was born in Italy to American parents, Melanie and Matthew. Cole has an elder brother, Dylan Sprouse, with whom Cole shared a TV screen with at a very young age. According to our source, the Sprouse family was a big fan of jazz singer and pianist Nat King, so young Cole was named after him. Cole was lucky enough to be on TV because he got the chance at the age of one when he was a child hardly learning to speak. Yes, we are talking about the popular show of the 90s, Grace Under Fire. The Sprouse brothers got another break when they were only seven years old. It's actually a dramatic comedy movie, Big Daddy, and both twins shared the screen. The twin brothers had been far away from fandom until they acted in a Disney Channel show, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. In 2016, Cole Sprouse was cast as Jughead Jones on the teen drama Riverdale, and his career took a huge leap. This time, Sprouse wanted to create his separate images as an actor for fans to get easily identified, and that's why he had to dye his blonde hair black. Riverdale became a stepping stone to Cole, and he never looked back. He had another successful hit, Five Feet Apart, with his co-star Haley Lou Richardson. It was a romantic drama film which received mixed reviews. Marisol Nichols 
Of course, no one can miss that badass character of Veronica's mom, a woman who stayed with her husband in order to protect her daughter. At very first glance, some people hate her, but suddenly it all makes sense. This gorgeous lady was born on the 2nd of November in 1973 in the Rogers Park neighborhood of Chicago, Illinois. She is the oldest of three siblings, having two younger brothers. There is a long list of movies and shows Marisol acted in. She initiated her acting career in 1996 with a comedy drama show, Do South, and a teen drama, Beverly Hills, 90210. In the year 2017, performing a badass mother, she proved that she is able to beat the best. Her upcoming project for 2020 is a horror drama movie, The Organ Donor. The film stars The Rock, Samuel L. Jackson, and Marisol Nichols. Madeleine Petch Madeleine was born in Washington and spent her early years there. Her parents were actually from South Africa, and they frequently kept visiting their hometown. Thus, Madeleine spent most of her childhood, as well as adolescence, at both places. Since her childhood, she has been very keen to dance and try other arts. By the time she turned 10, she had already been trained in acting and dance. Madeleine started facing stages by giving auditions when she was a high school girl. The efforts were quite tough, but Fortune never made a favor to her to appear in any major mainstream role. She made her first debut in the year 2015 with a small role in a TV film, The Hive. Later, she continued her journey and appeared in Instant Mom and The Curse of Sleeping Beauty. Finally, she had an opportunity she was looking for. In February 2016, she was cast as Cheryl Blossom in the CW's crime series, Riverdale. In April 2018, Madeleine collaborated with the Sunglasses Company and launched her own collection. She also runs her own YouTube channel and lets the fans know the real outside of her. After the success of Riverdale, she appeared in a supernatural horror film, Polaroid. Machen Amick this American actress was born in Sparks, Nevada, USA. Her mother, Judy, is a medical office manager, and father, Bill Amick, is a musician. Amick was inspired by her parents to follow her creative instincts. She can gracefully play the piano, violin, and guitar. On the other side, this pretty woman is passionate about ballet, jazz, and modern dance, too. She was very serious about her career and made her dreams come true by moving to Los Angeles at the age of 16. After moving to LA, she worked as a model for a lead agency. She made her debut on television with a guest appearance in the highly watched series Star Trek The Next Generation and Baywatch. In 1990, director David Lynch gave her her first break in Twin Peaks as a waitress, Shelley Johnson. Later, Amick portrayed the character of actress Tanya Roberts in Sleepwalker with director Stephen King. And in August 2015, another hit movie of hers, Hotel, was released. That was an American horror movie, and she portrayed the character of a mother who was looking after her ill child. In 2017, she was cast for the role of Betty Cooper's mother, Alice, on the CW television series Riverdale. For now, she is already engaged with Riverdale as Alice Cooper. According to sources, in 2020, we will see her in chapters 67 and 8. Luke Perry Teen idol of the 1990s and late actor Luke Perry was born on October 11, 1966, to Ann Perry and Coy Luther Perry. After his parents' divorce, he was raised by his mother and stepfather in Ohio, along with two siblings and a stepsister, Emily. Luke made his way to Hollywood in 1984, but the path was not easy. He did countless odd jobs to pay for his acting classes. His first break in TV series Loving took three years of auditioning and 216 rejections, yet he never felt disappointed. Later, he was offered the role of a bad boy, Dylan McKay, in Beverly Hills 90210. The success of that show catapulted him to stardom. Though Perry finally got a steady TV show, Riverdale, he had to say goodbye to the world. On February 27, 2019, he was admitted to the hospital after suffering what was described as a massive stroke. Unfortunately, all efforts to save his life failed, and he left this world on March 4, 2019, at St. Joseph's Hospital in California. Casey Cott American actor Casey is known for his character Kevin Keller in Riverdale. Initially, he was considered as a recurring character on the first season. However, his performance was so outstanding that he was promoted as a regular season character. Cott was born to Lori and his father Rick, who had been a former fighter pilot in the Air Force and now an investment manager. 
Cott was brought up in Ohio with his younger sister and elder brother. Casey loves acting and has always been attracted to the theater. His acting career started at a local Ohio theater. Later, his talent got noticed and he was cast on the CW drama series Riverdale on March 2016. It has been his first major professional breakthrough. After that, on March 12, 2018, he officially announced his leading role in the film The Mascot written and directed by Matthew Perkins. Another major breakthrough for him was All the Little Things We Kill, which was a fascinating political story in 2019. Charles Melton Model and actor Charles Melton was born on January 4, 1991 in Alaska. He spent most of his life there and grew up in Kansas. He made his modeling debut at New York Fashion Week in 2012. Although he was a newcomer in the industry, he had great potential that brought him multiple collaboration offers from top-ranking fashion brands. Despite possessing such great potential, the casting story of Riverdale was like a fairy tale to him. Initially, the role was confirmed with Ross Butler, who decided to quit the series after the first season due to a conflicting schedule with the teen series 13 Reasons Why. Later, that role was offered to Charles Melton. According to an IMBD report, Melton is soon going to make an appearance in an action thriller movie, Bad Boys for Life, in 2020. With that said, if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to Movie Rays and leave a like. Also, don't forget to comment and let us know your favorite Riverdale character.